Hi, this is Mr. T with a uh, tutorial, part two of our integration introduction. Uh, if you remember when we introduced integrals in the last section, we were finding antiderivatives, functions whose derivative was the function we started out with. And when we found these, we had a integration constant added to our answer that created a family of functions, not just a single function, that all differed by some a variety of constants called an arbitrary constant. If we had graphed all those functions, they would be a series of parallel uh, lines or parallel curves that are vertically shifted. Sometimes in problems, we'll want to find a very particular function, meaning we want to find the specific value or particular value for c. In order to do that, we need to be given additional information. Many times that, that additional information will be an initial condition. Let's look at an example. Here we have our problem. Find f of x, find the original function, if we know the derivative f prime of x equals 3x squared minus 6x plus 1. We're also given that on the original function f of 0 equals negative 10. So we have to remember here that when we integrate a derivative what we are finding, its antiderivative, is the original function. So given f prime of x and finding f of x says that we want to integrate and we want to integrate that function. If we apply our integral rules we talked about in the last tutorial, this would be 3 and we would add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, add 1 to the exponent of 1 here, divide by the new exponent, and remember the integral of a constant is that constant times x plus c. So this is our indefinite integral. I've simplified the 3 divided by 3 here. But we were given this uh, specific information that if I plug 0 in for x, f of 0 is negative 10. So we're going to substitute here for f of 0. Actually, I reversed these functions. So f of 0 is negative 10. And I've put 0 in for my x's. and we can solve for c. In this particular case, c comes out to be the value negative 10, which was our initial value. So our specific function this time is here. Now let's say, for example, instead of giving this initial information here, we were given, let's say, f of 1 equals 5. Let's say that was the information we were given. So in this case we would put 5 in for f of x and 1 for each of our x's. And solve for c. So if we calculate that we've got 1 minus 3 plus 1 plus c or 5 equals this is going to be negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 or c would equal 6. So with this piece of information given instead of the original one, our solution would be f of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus x, in this case, plus 6. So uh, normally if we're given our initial value like we did the first time, that is the value of c, but other times we could be given the point, in this case, 1, 5, and still come up with a particular solution. Let's look at a little humor here. Oh, we can't look at that. Sorry. I, uh, you can look at this. I didn't. We haven't had the integration rule for this yet, so I'll leave this here for another tutorial. Thank you.